Madison County is located in central New York, and it's known mostly for agriculture. Back in the 1880s, New York produced 80% of the nation's hops, the majority in Madison County. And places like Empire Brewing Company, the Colgate Inn, and Good Nature Farm Brewery are bringing this area, quite literally, back to its roots. Good Nature Farm Brewery was started back in 2010 by husband and wife team Matt Whalen and Carrie Blackmore with the intention of a true farm to glass experience. You've grown a lot very quickly. You've grown a lot, like very quickly. Virtually everything, as I mentioned earlier, on the menu is sourced locally, and most everything is sourced direct from farmer. When Matt found me, I was working with kids growing vegetables up in Lake Placid, um, but Matt had been home brewing for about 10 years, and okay. I love craft beer, and so we kind of put two and two together, and we we're like, well, we should do farm to glass beer. That encompasses everything. <laughs> we do all of the, we bake most of our own bread. Part of, part of our philosophy, especially as, as brewers, we're makers. We make stuff, like we're not gonna open a kitchen and you know, mm -hmm. dump yeah. something out of a bag. The brewery has also found another unique way to embrace the county's history. There was a train crash, which usually people tend not to celebrate, but there was a train crash in 1955. It was carrying a load of chocolate. The train actually derailed and like took flight because it was going so fast oh. and like crashed into a coal storage building. So nobody was hurt and they never found out who did it. And the story goes that there was chocolate everywhere and all the kids from all over the town like <coughs> came over with their wagons and like loaded up That's on amazing. candy. And so it's like this mystery and it's called the Great, Great Hamilton Chocolate Train Wreck. Um, so we just, uh, this is the seventh year. Um, seven years ago, our first year, we started making a beer, because it's a great beer name, called the Great Chocolate Rex. And then we turned it into, because it's Oktoberfest time, we turned it into the Great Chocolate Rex Celebration meets Oktoberfest. So it's Great Chocolate Rectoberfest. Oh my gosh. And there's what music, a great idea. chocolate hair plate. I stayed in the quaint little town of Hamilton at the Colgate Inn, where they combine historical charm and world-class dining. I, I think that it's, it's also important to note that it is such a vocal point of the community. So the hotel here is 40 rooms are very, very, are you staying here? Yeah, 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 I checked in earlier today, it's okay. beautiful. Yeah, so, you know, very elegant and, um, you know, it's like that one of those little boutique hotels, so. What kind of cuisine. So what we try to do here is um, we have uh, we have food that would appeal more to the tavern, and then the other end of things we do a lot of fine dining stuff. We also do um, what we call a catch of the day. So right now I'm working with Honolulu Fish Company. Okay. So what is on the dinner table tonight was caught in the Pacific Ocean yesterday. Wow. Everything was very very good. incredibly bike friendly. acres of farmland here wow. and uh, we've been here for about uh, two this is like our second summer in the winter we partner with uh, Rogers Nature Conservatory and they lend us snowshoes which we sign out to our guests and they are free to explore the adjacent um, Burlingame trails have a yoga series, we call it uh, Beer and Yoga. This uh, is we're actually doing a hip hop cardio. All of a sudden I want to work out. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> this tasting room was designed with 
lot of love. Nothing like ending a perfect few days here in Madison County surrounded by hops at Empire Brewing Company. If you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye!